Thanks for clicking on this video and welcome to my channel. My name is Ira Jewel and we're going for a walk. Yeah, it's that simple. I was having a day. I wasn't feeling great. I wasn't feeling horrible. I was feeling very mm, in the middle, but like a little bit less than in the middle. So I figured let's go for a walk. Stop this in his tracks before I get any worse or spiral and, you know, have some negative thoughts flowing through let's just go pick ourselves up so i got myself i got my dog and we got ourselves to a park and yeah i want to talk about mental health especially now when a lot of people are struggling especially with the pandemic there's a lot going on like it's a lot going on and so we're gonna talk about it let's go Does anyone else feel like, I mean, you can't put your finger on it, but like something's wrong? Not even necessarily that something's wrong, but like it's definitely not right. You know what I mean? You can't place your finger on it. It's like you feel a little lost, but at the same time, it's like you feel good. You know, maybe I'm there. And so I just have been working through some thoughts in my mind and I wanted to share. Maybe someone can relate. I've never been the type of person to handle change well. I've definitely gotten better at it now that I'm older. It, it was never my thing <laughs> and going through this pandemic has been a huge adjustment for everyone we've all handled it differently you know for me I in the beginning I was thriving you know in my personal life I was on a health and wellness journey I had a lot more time to myself far less far less distractions than before i was a type of person who was very busy very on the go did not sit still friends and family told me often that i didn't know how to relax that was who i was but now in 2022 i am the complete opposite you would have to pay me to leave the house. Okay, it's not that dramatic, but I would much rather, if you ask me to do anything, I would much rather be at home on the couch, eating popcorn, watching Ozark or something, anything other than leaving the house. And there are plenty of people who were like that prior to the pandemic. My husband was like that. He does not like doing things. And you know what? That's fine. But <laughs> I don't know if I had convinced myself that I was an extrovert before the pandemic. And now I'm like, it takes so much energy to do the interaction that before it wasn't as difficult. It, it, it uh, it's draining it really is and I've had to just say no to a lot of going out and doing things I've had to you know I used to make up things and now I feel like I'm better at just kind of saying I can't do that or something but yeah I mean hey I'm busy a lot now but I'm busy just being at home minding my own business like and part of that I would say for like half of it well okay for about 40 percent of my being at home alone was me isolating when i was like you know dealing with being very down dealing with some depression i was isolating away from people because i didn't want to open up about my actual problems i was dealing with some declining health issues i live with a chronic illness um 
I was dealing with the grief of losing someone close in my life last year. I was grieving the life that I wanted, the life that I was on track to obtain. And I basically had to start over, but so did so many other people. And that is actually encouraging to me that I am not experiencing this alone. But it is hard to talk about sometimes to the people in your life because, I mean, it's difficult to not feel like you're burdening them. You know, everyone's dealing with something similar. And part of the reason why I'm here on YouTube to talk about it because, I mean, I know I can go to my friends and family. I just, sometimes I don't want to. Like, sometimes I don't want to bother them. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Of course, they would, they, would, they would tell me that that's dumb, but that's fine. We're working through things <laughs> here on YouTube. <laughs> but it's just very murky as well. Like, things are not clear. And I just simply wanted to talk about it. Um, you know, when you feel like you've lost your purpose a little bit or lost your direction, I mean, it's kind of easy to just give up. And I feel like I've been doing that, you know, part time, just giving up <laughs> on life of like, well, forget it. And then some days I'm like, no, no, no. But I really want to do this. I really want to do that. And um, it's that in itself is draining. So it's, it's really just easy to just give up on plans, give up on trying. But don't do that. I'm going to I'm here to tell you, don't do that. <laughs> um You'll find yourself kind of in this spot often of just trying to figure out life. I feel like there is something natural or innate, like an instinct, like an instinct in us that seeks a purpose. Um, whether that purpose is just to simply exist and experience the things around you. If you give up and your mentality is just to sit there and let things happen to you you won't feel fulfilled um even with just less social interactions we as humans are supposed to thrive off of interacting and so yeah i'm just like i know i'm supposed to feel better from interacting and talking to people but i just i don't want to do it you know what i mean i mean i have like definitely talked to a few close friends you know more often than others but I'm not actually wanting to like do anything and so part of me is like okay I recognize that there's something there that is underlying you know there's like this underlying gloom but it's not horrible but I still feel like it needs to be addressed or I still need to try and just work through it so that it doesn't get any worse and I'm not constantly going through this cycle here but you know there's no end to this conversation really I'm really just rambling and I really hope that you've made it this far if you've made it this far in the video please give it a thumbs up the fact that you're still here in all my ramblings I assume that means you can relate <laughs> I assume that means you can relate or you just felt the need to support either way you must hit the like button at this point and also let me know in the comments can you relate can you relate to anything that i'm saying like does any of this loss slash gloom slash i mean feeling good feeling okay but not great but not horrible can you relate to this and how are you working through it that's pretty much it that's all i got but I hope that you felt like you weren't alone in this and maybe felt inspired to continue to find your purpose, even though things aren't looking clear. That's what we can gain from this video. Still finding our purpose, even when things aren't as clear. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you stick around here and see my future videos hopefully i will do more like this in the future see you guys next time bye milo you ready to go home
Ready to go home? Let's go.